In our next lesson in book binding, we're going to do a kettle stitch text block. So we're going to be using a little bit of book thread, a needle, I'm using a push pin to poke the holes into my signatures, and we're starting out with four signatures of drawing paper, which you should have in your virtual art kit for those of you who are at home. And I have pre-punched the holes, five holes evenly spaced apart. Make sure each of the holes is in the same space on each signature. You can set aside that text block that you have thus far and thread your needle. I'm using a piece of book thread and I'm going to double it up. But if you have thick thread, you might just want to use a single piece. Make sure to knot it at the end so that it catches when you start weaving it through. The very first step will be to go through that top hole. Make sure your knot catches. And then we're going to be weaving in and out of these five holes, coming out to the outside edge and then going into the signature all the way down to the bottom. And then you're going to be going all the way back up the top, so you actually should have, it almost should look like one strand of twine going up both the outside and the middle. Once you get back to the top, you're about to kind of close that loop up. You're going to push your needle through to the inside of the signature and tie a knot. Now the knot we're going to do is just the same knot that we did with our pamphlet stitch. You're just tying a couple hitches. I'm going to tie one hitch. So I put my needle under and then trying to keep it tight as I can, I'm going to pull that hitch until it comes back to that top hole. I'm going to push my needle through to the outside of the signature and I will be ready to start and lay on my next signature. So for the second one, you're going to push your needle through that top hole. Pull tight. Push it through the next one. And this is where it gets different. So watch closely. I'm going to thread my needle around the stitch below it. So it's going to go underneath. Pull through and back underneath so it makes a loop. Make sure to hold on to your needle. <laughs> and then after you tighten that loop, you tuck the needle back into the hole so it comes out the middle of the signature. Here it is again. You're coming up through the signature, underneath that stitch below, and then back through the hole. Sometimes the string does get tied up, just take your time. And pop that needle back through. And here we go. Once you get to the end, you're going to bring the needle and thread out. And you're going to do the same thing, but all you have to hook around is that last stitch. So you're just going under once, pulling it tight, and then going back through. And on the other side, after you go back through, you're just going to do a quick loop through the inside to kind of secure it. So I'm going to loop around. Pop that back through. 
and then I'm ready to put on my third signature. Here's a slow-mo of that third signature needle coming out. This time, I'm not gonna go all the way down to that first signature, I'm just looping around the stitch underneath it. If you point your needle at an angle, this really helps. Then I'm pulling through, pulling tight, and then going back through the hole. And I'm gonna weave through to the next hole in the signature. Same thing on the end, pull through. And a little knot, a little hitch. And I'm ready to go to my fourth one. Here's my final text block. This is all four kettle stitched together and ready for a beautiful cover. All I did on the end was tie a couple hitches on the outside and you're ready to create a gorgeous book.